Hello, this is a review of the Invicta 0937 Anatomic Subacro Collection Chronograph Watch. Now this is a big sporty watch with some really cool features and an absolutely excellent presentation um, out of the box. So let's take a look. Um, first of all, it comes in this nice yellow box with some raised lettering that you won't be able to see in the video uh, right across here. That's the logo of the company. And notice the, wa the size of the box is rather big. I mean, compared to the size of my normal daily watch that I put on, gives you a sense of size of this box here. So you open it up, and the first thing you'll get is a nice fold-out panel with the actual box inside. So let's go ahead and slide it on out. And now we get the actual box. Now this is a really cool looking box. Um, you'll notice the textured material um, in here that's uh, you know raised and beveled like a almost like a shell um, with uh, leather stitching along the sides, uh, you know, all the way around here, um, down the back. So it comes right away. You're thinking, wow, this looks really cool. And then you can open it up like a like a shell, and inside, well, you have your manuals and a little dust cloth, and then you reveal the actual watch itself. Now, let's take a look. It comes nicely presented, you know, wrapped around this nice little cool pillow. So let's go ahead and take this out. The first time it'll actually be tied around it, uh, at least it was for me. Okay, and let's go ahead and push this back and focus on our watch. Now, I think this is a higher quality watch than probably most of the watches I've had uh, before. I think it's an excellent watch. Most of this probably is going to come down to if this style of watch is what you're looking for. You know, if you, um, what we have is rubber bands. You know, this is a firmer plastic right here um, with a little bit of flexibility around there. And then you have a really soft feeling rubber band that is better than any of the rubber or plastic bands on any of the off the shelf watches that you'll find um, that I've ever seen, you know, your Timexes and Casios and so on. It's just a real supple uh, material that feels rather nice. Um, but it's rather big. Um, and it's heavier too, by the way. I mean, this whole thing is rather heavy compared to my other watches. And, um, I mean, you'll get used to it wearing it daily, but compared to the size of this other watch, um, you can see that this, this guy is big. Um, so it's definitely for a man, probably not, not recommended for a young boy or something like that for sure. Um, obviously you're going to have different purposes for wearing a watch with metal links. I mean, this isn't for wearing for a suit. I mean, it's a waterproof watch with a whole bunch of really cool features um, as well. Um, I think the clasp works fine. I mean, it's um, almost feels like a metal material because it's cold. Um, but it's um, the, maybe the first time I put it on, it's a little difficult to get used to, and then you get used to putting it on. The other thing is, is it's rather firm right here as it goes around. So at first, it feels like it might be a little loose on you. But you put it on, put it down. You got they give you some good granularity with the holes, so you can. Uh, you don't have to pick between just every other hole. Um, you get some good choices here. Um, so um, that's the band aside. So now let's look at the face. So I think this is a really cool looking face. So you notice how it's everything is inset. Um, it gives you this feeling of depth that I think is really elegant. Now overall it looks a lot harder to actually read um, than a watch with plain numbers. Um, if I compare it to my watch over here, you know, this, which is upside down, this one has, um, I mean, it's just really simple, not a whole lot of depth to it, uh, but it was fairly easy to read. Um, this one here, when I look at it, um, you'll get used to it really quickly, but notice that you don't get digits um, on the hashes. Right, but what you get is different numbers all the way around, although none of them are your hour numbers. And then your hands, which are going to be easy enough to read. Now what I like is um, they're, they're white, 
so they actually stand out. So given that there aren't going to be numbers to see, if I pan all the way back, you can really see the band or the, the hands at almost any angle. I mean, those are the easiest things to see in there. But there's a whole lot going on underneath this deep complexity. Um, these dials all actually work, which I think is really cool um, that all these dials do their jobs. Um, you, you have the day of the month and the, at an angle there. And unlike other watches that I've had, the whole head rotates. So you notice how there's different numbers around uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, well there isn't 20 there, 25, 30, and so on, all the way up to 55 before we get to 60 or 0. That this, this can rotate, and I think the idea is that you can time things. So rotate this to where your start time is, where the minute hand is right now, and you can get a sense of you know how much time has passed. Um, since this is waterproof, maybe it's good for going in the water uh, without literally being a digital watch. Notice you have hashes here from 0 to 15, which is uh, part of the 15 minute wa uh, timer that's built in. So let's talk a little bit more about the waterproofing. So basically, to set the watch, it has this lever here that you, 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 know, you pop open the lever and then you actually start unscrewing this. And you unscrew for a little while, you're starting to wonder if you're making any progress at all and then it pops right out. Um, and then you can pull it out one, two, three clicks to do the different kinds of settings. Um, that's pretty easy. And one thing you may not realize is these guys here, these are actual buttons. So, um, but they're locked down to be waterproof. So what you do is you take them, rote, you have to spin them like this and see, notice how the nut's moving. So let me finish unscrewing both of these, the A and B buttons. Okay, and they basically turn into little buttons, like a stopwatch, and that's exactly what they're used for. And so let's go ahead and, and start something. So I'm going to go into ahead and just hit the button A. Notice the dial at the bottom, right? So this is your one-tenth of a second dial, which runs for a short period of time while those kind of subseconds matter. And notice the big second hand is moving. Um, this is the thing you'll notice in other reviews that some people thought that the second hand was broken. It's, it's not broken. It's moving to, to measure the stopwatch. See the big black hand, which is now, now near the bottom? And this dial right here is the normal seconds hand. This longer second hand is for the stopwatch. This is your 60 second hand that runs all the time. So I'm going to go ahead and hit stop. So I hit, I hit the A button again and notice that the normal seconds hand is still running while the other second hand stopped. And some people go, oh, the second hand is broken. Well, it's not. It's not a second hand. Then I'm going to hit the B button right here and now watch what happens. Everything just reset. Did you notice that? All of the, you know, all the dials run. Then I hit that and then everything goes back to start. There we go. I think it's kind of cool, the fact that these things go all the way around. Let me do it once more. Really cool in my book. I, I just think that this thing is a marvel in terms of uh, the kind of cool features it has and that all the dials do something. You know, I compare that to my other watch, which has dials, which I don't even know if they work. I mean, they probably do, but they're so tiny I can't even see them. Um, but this has one of these, you know, it looks like this face is supposed to rotate around. Well, it doesn't. It's just for looks. You know, this is the watch that really does it. So it's big, um, but I think it's really cool. Um, it's just a matter of is a big watch like this um, suitable for you. I don't know if the value is worth the, the price tag that it lists as, sorry, there we go, as nearly $1,000. Um, but it... I think it's an excellent, interesting, cool watch if it fits the look you're going for. Well, thank you for listening to the review.